Welcome back. You are still watching Sports Full View right here on the SABC News Channel. And my name is Vusiwe Ngobo. Sticking with some more cricket news, Paddy Upton is officially an author. However, his involvement in cricket is vast with stints at the Pro Tears as a fitness trainer as well as a mental coach. And then alongside Gary Kirsten in guiding India to their 2011 Cricket World Cup win. He has also been a successful head coach in the IP and the Big Bash T20 Cricket Leagues. His book, titled The Barefoot Coach, tells cricket stories that give some valuable life lessons about success and failure, not only in sports, but also in life. Upton's journey has been a long one. It started out as a player, then as a fitness trainer, mental coach and performance director for the Proteas when they became the first team to simultaneously hold the world number one ranking in all three formats of the game. The journey continued with success with India and as head coach in T20 tournaments around the world. So what is the book about? Largely told through cricket and other sports stories, it's lessons in coaching, lessons in leadership, lessons in life, things like values, pressure, fear, character. So stuff that hopefully is valuable to anyone who is leading other people or wanting to get better performance out of their own um, efforts. So it's be often been said that cricket is, as a sport is one of the best metaphors for life. So really I've told cricket stories but through that a lot of lessons in life around working with the mental side of the game, about preparation, about dealing with failure, about success, um, about fear, about learning, a lot about leadership, about growing people. So really it's, it's lessons in life as to told through cricket stories. Upton and Kirsten were at the forefront when India under Mahindra Singh Dhoni won the World Cup in 2011 on home soil. So Gary Kirst and I, we, went, we flew over to India in 2007 to, to coach the Indian cricket team. Neither of us had been in the roles that we were about to step into, so we were complete novices, completely green. So we just needed to do different things when it came to managing the people and creating an environment that allowed these players to really perform at the highest level of their potential. And our goals were to take them to the number one test team in the world, a position they hadn't been to, and three years later to win the 2011 World Cup, a trophy they hadn't won in 28 years. So we set very lofty goals for people, two people who were really amateurs or novices in these new roles. They weren't the only South Africans involved in that Indian campaign. Their team included bowling coach Eric Simons and adventurer Mike Horn. They learned by trial and error what it takes to win a World Cup. You need to have really good players, but then also need to be really incredibly diligent in leaving absolutely no stone unturned in terms of preparation, in terms of building a great culture, removing pressure, removing fear of failure, and being exceptionally well prepared. So there's a lot of work that goes in from a lot of people in and around the team to set up with even a chance of getting into the qualifiers, never mind winning a World Cup. The Proteus 2019 World Cup campaign has been a dismal one and there's been plenty of ideas about what's gone wrong. But according to Upton, the other teams are simply better. Do we have good enough players at the moment in 2019 to win a World Cup? When we look at India, they've got really some great players. We look at England, they've got great players. Australia, good players. South Africa, we've got some really high uh, potential youngsters coming through but they haven't really got to the top of their game we've got a few guys who are at the back end of their career so I think one of the things one needs to take into consideration is we've got the best 15 players there but at the moment at this year they're just not as good as two or three of the real top teams in the world and that happens we can't blame anyone for that. After the World Cup Cricket South Africa will have to take stock and Upton has some advice going forward. I think going forward in South Africa, we need to identify who are the real players in terms of building this team going forward in the next three to four years. Not only players within the team, uh, also the leadership within the team, the coaching staff to have a really good coaching staff who connect well with each other, connect well with the team. And the same the structures in and around the players. We need to have an honest look in the mirror. Every person involved in cricket within the South African system and go, where are the places that we can be honest with ourselves that there are a couple of cracks that need filling and we need to go ahead and take a medium to long term approach, not a knee jerk approach because we haven't done well. Upton has been blessed to be involved with some of the greatest cricketers in the world. He says more importantly, he's got to know some great human beings as well. 
Sachin Tendulkar, probably the one of the best preparers I've ever come across in the game, even 23 years into his international career. So preparation and very grounded, good human being uh, with very little ego. MS Dhoni, um, incredibly cool, calm, collected, uh, very tactical captain, but the main thing with him is cool and calm under the high pressure situations. There's two things about every athlete, it's their skill and who they are as people. And to me the great athletes are the people who are great athletes and really great people. VVS Laxman is one of those great people, he has both of those things. Other players who are really great human beings at the same time they're great cricketers are guys like uh, Rahul Dravid, I mentioned VVS Laxman, uh, Mike Hussey from Australia, Hashim Amla, really grounded, humble individual. Um, and I think those are the people that really stand out because Sports is a very short-term career. We're going to be people for a long period of time. Although emotions are high because the approaches haven't performed, Upton looks back at some South African cricketers that have been wonderful cricketers, great team players and role models to aspiring cricketers on and off the field. A couple of guys who come into the back end of their career in South Africa, someone like JP Dermany, he's been a great servant. I think he's been such a role model in the type of person he's been while he's playing cricket. Um, I think he's got the best out of his talent. Um, he's a great person to have on a team. Uh, Faf Duplessis um, took over the captaincy later on in his international career. I think one of the best captains we've had and I think the longer he goes as captain the more we'll recognize just how good a captain he is as a person and strate uh, strategically on the field as well. The Barefoot Coach is an inspiring read about cricket and life. Hopefully Upton will be able to impart some of his knowledge and success to South African cricket going forward. Craig Murray, SABC News, Cape Town.